You do an impression, Jennifer Coolidge. Oh. Yeah! Which is unbelievable. One you... guy was yeah, like, man. I want it. Give us a little sure. taste. God, you look like the 4th of July. Just... Taking the dog, dumbass. <laughs> I do one impression, and it's the weirdest impression. I should have like a Christopher Walken or something, and I have a Kristen Stewart. I did it to her, and she was like, oh man, I, I do that with my mouth. And I was like, you're doing it now, I know. Can you do maybe Kristen Stewart explaining what Pitch Perfect 3 is about? <laughs> you know, there's like, the Bellas are out of college, and um, they go on a USO tour, and there's like, you know, hilarity ensues, so. Because Tracy told me he went to your house, and you made him, as he said over and over again to me, four park franks. He said, I went over there, he made me franks, four park franks. That's why I'm gonna always be cool with Eddie, because he made me them franks. You had these these scenes with Christopher Walken and Wedding Crashers, and I gotta think, that as an actor, that's gotta be a dream come true. I was very intimidated by him. He's the, the normal guy who's like, hey, how you doing? It's not like that. He just sort of sits there in the makeup chair and he's like, pineapple. <laughs> I, like, I like to eat it. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so honored. I'm, oh talking, my, about substitute I'm talking about substitute teaching. Who is the teacher? Who is Her the name is Abby. Abby Adamson. We shot Guardians of the Galaxy here in yeah. London, and my wife, Anna, came out to visit, and she fell in love with this show, The Only Way is Essex. It's like basically their Jersey Shores. So, like, honestly, I, like, I saw this guy. Honestly, did like, did, like, Michael cheat on me when he was in a beef art. And of course, he's telling me, he's like, no, I miss you, or whatever. And I'm like, no, no, no. You miss me? What, what my your mother? You brought Michael Jackson and Prince together. The one time we had a show in Vegas, Michael Jackson called. Hey, what's well, Michael? I heard you guys are doing a show tonight. But yeah, we going at nine o'clock. Oh, rats! I gotta put the kids to sleep. So I was like, well, we, I'm performing with Prince later on. Michael came to see me rock with Prince. Prince steps off the stage and plays the bass in Michael Jackson's face. Michael Jackson leaves and goes home and says, "Leave me in the house for breakfast." So I go to his house for breakfast. First words he says, "Why was Prince playing the bass in my face?" <laughs> Say that Prince, he's just being nice, you know. No, Prince, he's always been a meanie. Okay, on the actor side, it's Jennifer Lawrence. They told me not to do a game show, but I was like, screw it, I can have fun, I'm a regular person. Name a bad habit that you just can't quit. Jennifer. I'm just like a snackaholic. I mean, I love Pringles. If no one's looking, I'll eat like a whole can. Like every day is my cheat day, you know what I mean? Oh, how annoyingly relatable. I was in the studio with Lenny Kravitz. He was doing something with Jay-Z, uh -huh. and he's, you know, he talked. <laughs> Yeah, D, I'm going to play this for you, D. <laughs> That's how he is. Yeah, you know, I'm going to put this on for you, man. Just tell me what you think. You went to Broadway one night and sat next to Katherine Hepburn. It didn't go so well. No, it didn't. There's an empty seat beside me, and then suddenly I hear, Excuse me, get out of my way. Move that <laughs> umbrella, you idiot. And she sits right here, and I'm thinking, I'm not going to say anything. Act one ends, and Rosemary Harris is actress in the play, and she does a dramatic diatribe and collapses on the stage. And I turn to Hepburn, forgetting it's Hepburn. I say, isn't she classy? And she, because I'm talking to her like a real person says she certainly is rosemary has an ability to be real in the moment very much like spencer very much like the best people that you ever imagine in your life and as she's saying that i'm thinking i'm talking to katherine hepburn so i say to her well miss hepburn you're no slouch she looks at me and says thank you and then she turns to the first do you mind if i change seats? Like, would you mind telling us the story about when you were nominated and you had the beads in New Zealand, where we filmed Lord of the Rings, uh, if you're lucky, when you leave, you're given a piece of green stone, and it'll bring you a bit of luck. So, when those films were nominated for something like 20 Oscars, everybody from New Zealand was wearing their green stone, Punami. And when we are on the red carpet going into the ceremony, I met Maggie Smith. Mm, hello, what are, you, what are you here for? I said, well, Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. She said, what's that round your neck? Oh, so it's my Punami. I want your Punami. What's that for? I said, well, if I wear it, it'll bring me luck. And, oh, very nice. And we went our separate ways, and at the end, of course, everyone else wins the Oscar apart from you. And a bit dejected, you're coming out looking forward to a drink, and you bump into Maggie Smith, and she points out at you, and she says, it didn't work, did it? Okay, Holly Hunter talking about a gas station. I love Holly Hunter. Oh, I love her, too. This is great, Jimmy. This is so superior to that, uh, that uh, service station on Wilshire. You got all sorts of snacks, Skittles, Starburst, sunflower seeds if you're trying to watch your sugar. People just do impressions of you, don't they? Am I in your canon? Can I have the cards? So, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> so you 
you? I said, you? You've never been on the show. I feel your pain, Bob. Gal Gadot. She hosted SNL. I was with um, A.D. Bryant. We were just like, oh, okay, now we know that we are Midwestern toads compared to this, like, Mediterranean <laughs> goddess. Everything she says is like a prophecy. I asked her, do you have hobbies, Gal? And she was like, I love to go to the beach. I love to paddleboard. I love to go to the Maldives. Do you have a hobby, Kate? And I was like, I, I watch Dateline. <laughs>